Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a trailhead unit where we're going to be creating a method to insert accounts. So again, we have our trailhead playground here. And we're going to open up the developer console just so we're ready. And to pass this challenge, we need to create an Apex class that inserts a new account named after an incoming parameter. If the account is successfully inserted, the method should return the account record. If a data manipulation language exception occurs, the method should return null. Okay, cool. So the Apex class should be called account handler. So we can go on ahead and create that. So we can do file new Apex class and call it account handler. Okay, so again, that's auto created our class. And the Apex class should have a public static method called insert new account. So we need to say public static and from here we know it should return an account. So we can do account and it's called insert new account. And we know from here that it must accept an incoming string as a parameter which will be used to create the account name. So here we can say a string name. Okay, so that's our method definition done. We have our class. So now we just have to add the functionality. So we know we're gonna be creating an account. So the first thing we need to do, we could do is account A equals new account. Okay. And then we can say A dot name equals to the same name that we got as a parameter. So we can say name. Okay, and now that we have our account created, we just need to insert it. It's that easy. But we need to also um, handle errors. So the way we're going to do this is put this inside a try. So we can say try insert A. And if it's inserted, we want to then return A. And we want to catch any exceptions thrown. So we can say catch exception E and then we can return null. Okay, so that should be it, but I just want to show you something just to test this. So catch an exception E, an example of an exception would be if the name is just an empty string. So here we could do something like system.debug and we can actually say error and then append or exception on if we save that. What we can do to actually test that this works is we can say debug and open execute anonymous window. And if we want to enter in some Apex code here, we can say account handler dot insert new account. Make this a bit bigger. And we want to give it a name if we just give it an empty string. Semicolon. And we want to open the log after and we execute this apex code we should go inside the catch and the debug uh, the error should be printed so here if we select debug only we can say error system so it's showing us that this is working required field missing we're missing the name so that's just how you could test this yourself um, and you could also test with a string um, that is valid so now that we think this is all working, we're going to check the challenge, and see if we got it. So yeah, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask in the comments so you can see we completed it successfully. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.